If you want to learn English, read, read more. Let me show you how you can read right now in English. And I recommend that you do this every day, every day. Let me show you. This is my favorite website, newsinlevels.com. It's free and there are a lot of advertisements, but that's okay. Let me show you how to use this site. It's very important how you use it. So this is the news and there are short articles and you need to pick the article that you want to read. It's very important that you pick the articles that you want to read. And then it's important how you go through these levels. So everybody, everybody needs to start with level one. Let me pick an article, this one. I'm going to pick this article about wild bears come to towns. Hmm, let's see what that one's about. Click on level one. Remember, you have to start with level one, not level two, not level three. Even if you can read more, start with level one. Here's why, let me show you. Level one has sentences in the present tense. So when you read it and then go to level two, verbs are in the past tense. So it's important for your mind to see this in the present tense and then to see it in the past tense. We're not going to learn the rules in lessons right now we're acquiring a language, so you just need to read more of this language. But you can, if this is too difficult, click on the YouTube video and it will be read to you. This year is not easy for wild bears. You can slow it down or speed it up, but your eyes need to go across all of the words as you're listening. There are little words like is, for, are, to, for, and little words that come up over and over and over are called high frequency words. And your eyes need to see them because every day you know more English and now you're seeing these words. This will help you learn to read because you will start to recognize many of the high frequency words but you must start in level one. Read level one, maybe it's difficult and you need to get pictures. Maybe you need images, that's okay. Maybe you know how to read in your language and you need to use Google Translate a little bit. That's okay, but come back to this story. Come back to the English, listen, read with the website, and then go to level two. Do not go to another news story. Stay on this story and go to level two. Now, level two is more complex. Level two has verbs in the past tense and longer sentences, but that's okay because you understood the story in level one. Now, this is about language. Wild bears in Japan started to come home. Your mind will see the verbs in the past tense. So just read level two. There's some new words. You learned a little more words and vocabulary. And then before, when you're done with level two, before you go to another story, go to level three. Level one, level two, and level three, all of them. Level three is complex. Level three is just like I read the regular newspaper or a magazine. And again, you can have it read aloud to you here with the YouTube video, but your eyes need to go across the text. You're not, it's not too difficult because you understood it in level one. It's just more language. But remember, you need to pick the stories that you're interested in. Let's say maybe you like this story about bears, so you can search wild bear. And you will get a lot of stories about what you're interested in. So you get to read about what you want to read about.
So how much should you read? How fast do you want to go? The more you read, the more English you will acquire. Do you want to go faster? Read more. Read more. At least two news articles every night. Level one, level two, and level three. And if you want to go faster, read more.